the last few weeks were so much fun! We learned how to make a fruit salad and how to make a cake for my mom! Today, we are going to be making these yummy cupcakes! Here are the directions to make them. Directions are the steps we need to follow. The directions seem pretty easy. We follow the steps and then we get scrum delicious cupcakes. All finished! My mom just helped me put the cupcakes in the oven to bake. Hmm, so I guess we just wait now. I wonder if I should go check to see if they're baking. Maybe I should look at the directions again. I know we followed the steps. <sighs> I don't really know what to do. What do you think? Just wait. Yeah, that sounds right. The instructions do promise cupcakes if I follow the steps. And I did follow the steps. So I guess that is it. Let's check out today's Bible story in the meantime. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from Jeremiah chapter 33, verses 14 to 16. Do you remember our big idea so far for this series? Step one, trust God. Step two, talk to God. Step three, listen to God. Well, Jeremiah did all those things. He was another one of God's prophets. That means he followed those steps so well that he could tell the people what God was saying. And every word was true. But some of what he said was hard to believe. It just didn't make sense. For example, in today's story, Jeremiah reminded the people of a promise that God made a long, long time ago. So long that they weren't sure it would happen anymore. God chose one family, a whole family tree in fact, and promised that from that family tree would come a king, a king that would be greater than all kings in the world. It didn't seem like this family had the right ingredients for the king above all kings. But one person from that family tree stood out, and it was a guy named David. He loved God very, very much, and he was very brave. So brave that when David was a boy, he defeated a giant with nothing but his sling and a stone. Imagine that. David was pretty great. God told David that someone from his family would always be the king. And Jeremiah was saying the exact same thing again. And do you know who that king is? It's Jesus. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33 to wait and watch for Jesus to come. What does that mean? We can start by following all these steps. Step one, trust God. Step two, talk to God. Step three, listen to God. And maybe the hardest step of all, step four, leave the results to God. When we live for God, we don't always know exactly how things will turn out. The Bible is our guide. There are even promises in the Bible, but we have to do our part and follow the instructions. If we follow the instructions in the Bible and do what we need to, we will all become delicious cupcakes. I mean, um, uh, we can leave the results to God. <laughs> that is so exciting, friends. We can trust God, talk to God, and listen to God. But after all that, we can do step four. Leave the results to God. That's the big idea for today. Can you say that with me? Step four. four. Leave the results to God. Thank you so much for learning and growing with me. We had so much fun, didn't we? Catch you next time. Peace out!
Get up, turn around, jump around 